Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone, it's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. In the last video, we talked about her being caught in her own web with her dad. And it seems to be the case this go round with her friends. She's losing friends left and right due to her own actions. She's thrown every one of them under the bus. Almost every one of them. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so she's had this huge situation last Friday with the court saying, hey, I never gave my friends permission to speak on my behalf personally to People Magazine. All right, so every bit of what was told to me, and I thank you, Jay, very much. One of the five mystery friends that spoke with People happened to have been Daniel Martin. This guy literally worked with her for a very short period of time. I totally remember that time. He was making his rounds, defending her, crying to everybody that would listen. I bet he feels really stupid today. She included him in the beginning, but now it's like they have no relationship. The other four interviews were done via email. Do you guys remember in the last video I shared that story regarding the interaction with that lady in email? Do you reckon the other four were Megan? Because the problem that she's having now in this entire lawsuit situation, she cannot produce the other four that spoke on her behalf. If it comes out that those other four emails were from Megan herself, she's toast, done completely. I was curious as to why her good friend Serena and her were having a bad falling out. And I was told yesterday that she asked Serena to give a deposition regarding these interviews. Serena said it didn't involve her. She didn't want to be involved. And whatever happened between them from there, only God knows. It must have been really ugly. Serena recently posted this on her social media account. Her standing in her kitchen cooking up a meal, wearing her goofy Disney costume. It looks like a Snow White dress. She turns around deliberately to show the back of this dress that's way too small. And immediately, my brain took me to Megan at the Disney premiere of The Lion King and her wardrobe malfunction when her sleeve busted, but the back of her dress is the same. Folks loyal to Megan, like her fans, are trying to dispute anything going on between Serena and Megan. What else could Serena be doing but poking fun at Megan? Megan went on and asked Jessica if she would give a deposition too. You guys, I was told that Jessica said no. How crazy is this going to make Megan look? Considering she and Harry have been on this mental health kick for quite some time. I guess it takes one to know one. It seems the only people left around Megan and Harry are those trying their best to build their own brand. Such as Scoby One Kenobi. He's coming to her rescue every time we turn around. Did you know he used to date Marcus Anderson? Now, I'm not sure for how long they dated. I've always been told they've just been on again, off again, friends with benefits. We all know that's healthy. Scoby has a podcast called On Air, H-E-I-R, clever and I give them credit. They list themselves as a royal journalist, a royal biographer, and a royal commentator. Yet out of all their podcasts, only two episodes have not been about Meghan and Harry. They also have a column in Bizarre.com devoted to the royal family. They devote so much time to Meghan that they've even been dubbed her mouthpiece. Now I'm using they, them, and their because I cannot determine if this is a male or a female. So they've been selected as one of the writers for this explosive biography, this tell-all. Due to their royal expertise, I don't think any royal expert would ever take the chance to cross this line. <laughs> I don't want to start their car. This could be a potential danger for them. It was shared with me yesterday that Charles personally gave Harry and Meghan both a very stern warning regarding this tell-all. Meghan cares about nobody but Meghan. And by having her voice snuffed out during the period of her life spent with the royal family, she feels it's her time now to tell her side on her terms. And of course, Marcus Anderson is supporting her 100%. 
Megan, you reap what you sow, girl. These people that are left around Megan are doing nothing but fueling the fire just to benefit themselves. Initially, Harry and Megan both decided they were not going to release any pictures of Archie for his first birthday. And according to my buddy Jay, it was the bright idea of both Marcus and Scaby to have this precious over-the-top photo shoot and release it of Archie. Just stir in the pot, that's all. We all knew what was coming the moment this picture was shared. I've always heard that Megan resented those children, those innocent beings. And a big thank you to the person who sent me this yesterday. So it seems that Megan and Harry just can't handle life in L.A. It's not panning out just as they thought it would. In their mind, they would come to America, all the doors would be opened for them, and it just didn't work out in their favor. And after 54 days, it seems like Harry is trying to come on back. Now, I really hope the royal family don't allow that to happen. Meanwhile, Megan's hooked up with Gwyneth Paltrow. They're talking about making candles together. Now, if you're not familiar with the candles that Gwyneth makes, aside from them being super expensive, anywhere from $100 to $400 per candle. But they're disgusting, very foul-assed. You know, these spoiled rich folks, they're hilarious. What in her brain thinks this is okay? So Megan is pairing up with Gwyneth Paltrow to create some candles of her own. I think it's safe to say they're at the bottom of the barrel. They have no business plan, so it seems. They've been laughed out of Hollywood. They've banned all of these big journalists. Nothing has turned out in their favor. Nothing. Speaking of the banned journalists, listen to what another journalist wrote to them. As a writer on one of the few newspapers not cast into darkness, by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I suppose I should feel privileged. Actually, I feel a little disappointed. My message to their semi-royal highnesses is, please extend me to the zero engagement you have offered my tabloid brothers. At present, the big story is a global virus killing tens of thousands of people and decimating economies. In these circumstances, I would quite like to be released from any opportunity to cover the activities of your non-profit empire, Archwell, and whatever else you may find to do here in Los Angeles. That, to me, speaks volumes when you have a journalist who makes a living reporting on stuff, cutting their own pay by not reporting on you. You've already worn out your welcome. This is how out of it Harry and Meghan both seem. Harry has asked if before they leave, He can do one thing he's always wanted to do. Before they leave, Harry wants to make sure he learns how to become a surfer. That's most important on his to-do list these days. That's how spoiled he really is. While the rest of us are turning over couch cushions, looking for spare change, wondering exactly when we can get back to work, he's obsessed with surfing lessons. What a pathetic creature. Truly. Speaking of pathetic, spoiled creatures and top priorities, did you guys realize when she and Harry went to Stanford, they were there pitching this idea that Stanford give her an honorary doctorate? Just another piece of evidence proving they're out of their minds. Y'all, I really hope the royal family don't allow them to come back so easily. They're trying to make it out as if Megan's pregnant again, which is code for... The surrogate is pregnant again. They're saying Harry is really wanting to go home to have this child. If the royal family allow them to come back super easily, then that tells me all I need to know. Meghan and Harry are holding on to something the rest of the royals don't want out. But I do think it's funny that at the end of the day, this empowered woman who cannot stand the thoughts of just a woman washing dishes has hit such a low that she is actually going along with the idea of looking pregnant again and making more cookbooks. It seems like today's video was sponsored by Karma. What next? I'm always waiting to see what happens next. I want to say a big thank you to all my new Patreon members. And if you too would like to become a member of my Patreon, the link will be down below. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Stay safe and be blessed.